Welcome to this episode of Buck's Living Room. Today, what's in my truck job box? All right, big job box first. All righty. <clears throat> the most important thing in this toolbox, my knee pads. These are uh, pro knee knee pads. Best money I ever spent. Best $265 I ever spent. I gotta get them refit. Oh worn out but they, this is a this is over two years of use here and have had no problems with them they are the shit okay circular saw this is a DeWalt this is a I like this saw I use this saw on a jig that I made just to cut 45s on stone just slide the stone in whether it be 12 inch, 16, 18, 24, and you get perfect 45s every time. Less bullshit than on a wet saw. So stick a wet, stick a diamond blade in there. This saw fits right in the slide that I made, and it's great. This saw's tough, it doesn't overheat. Good shit. All right, we got your. Run of the mill small chipping hammer, hammer drill, Nikita. Get another one, same thing. This is a it's a wet grinder, an angle grinder. And this is one of the you you could fit all kind of different bits in here. It's a carbine, the water comes out through here. It's a good tool, bullnosing, polishing. It also takes these diamond polishing pads. After you grind it, you can polish it. It goes from 50, this is 50 grit, up to 2,000. You get a nice polish. This is a small Makita power planer for trimming stuff up. Wall palm sander. I use this on stone too. My old sawzall, still kicking. This is my wood, my worm drive for wood. It's a rigid, it's a good saw. I just use this one designated for wood. Quarter cable, 21 by 3 inch belt sander. And I use this for stone too. That's a cheap, uh, cheap wall drill that burned out the first time we got it mixing but it was we were in a pinch uh, let me see oh we got this we got this fine uh, multi-master tool that i just came across i was never a big fan of these things i think they're they're a pretty limited tool but in a certain situation they're good whether i'd spend 300 dollars for it i don't know so that's what's in the big toolbox we move on. Now we're in the smaller job box. I keep this one with things that I predominantly use every day. So here I got a small, small toolbox that I keep shit that you tend to lose. Some bits, diamond uh, jigsaw bits, blades, wrenches, 
driver bits, Allen keys, all kind of miscellaneous shit, and a couple extra tape measures. And batteries. I, I bring chargers to work, but mainly I charge them when I get home. I, so I don't have to deal with this generally. It lasts me the whole day, so I got enough tools to last one day. Ah, shit. Sorry, hit the camera. The wall impact. Overall, I'm really impressed with the wall. Now, I know it's all the same shit, but. Their hammer drills work better than than uh, Rigid and Makita, and their drill works drill works better. Impact works better. There's my uh, Dewalt jigsaw I got from my father. Good tool. Right. This is my big grinder, big old Milwaukee. I got this. My father gave me this too. This is a monster. I love this tool. You wanna? You want to take some shit off, this will take it off. Alright, this is the same worm drive, similar, same model as the one I use for wood, but this one I only use for, uh, for stone. This one I use for trimming pool. Put, put the stone down, run it long, or, or around where I gotta have a radius. Then come back, come back and cut it with this. Good strong saw. You gotta change the oil a lot on when you're using uh, using on masonry. Uh, Makita hammer drill, Milwaukee hammer drill. Uh, this is this is my my wood circular saw. Now this is a great saw. I've had this saw about ten years. It's a porter cable. Magnesium, really good. I use this for my, you know, more of the finished stuff. But the thing that they, don't, they have on this that they don't have on other saws, and I don't know why, is this. You can change this blade without a wrench. You just hold the lock, and you turn this, and it pops back. And no wrenches. It hasn't ever broken in over 10 years. This is my mixing drill. It's an old Black and Decker Industrial. This is a this is a beast too. I got this from my father. My father likes to give me strong tools. And this is a good one. And over here we got grinders. Small Makita with a a worn out metal cutoff blade. These fucking things are dangerous. Take it from me. Twenty stitches later. This is a Metabo. That I just got recently because I burned my other one out. But I burned the other one out eight hours a day for three weeks, shaking coral for around a, a hot tub. So this is a good one, and they're really not that much more money. This is a Dewalt. I got a smoothing blade on. It. There's two schools. These 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 triggers here that'll turn off if you drop it, but after after a long day, I don't feel like holding this fucking switch down all day. This is another one. It's a Milwaukee, a bigger, one of the big switches there. And this is like a mid-size uh, Makita. And this is good. And that's about it I got for my everyday tools. I got a lot of grinders because sometimes I got I got a bunch of guys there who don't bring any tools to work. So that's the way it goes. So listen, thanks for coming to Buck's living room. And I'll see you short. Ciao.